Hi guys! I started this page in my Traveler's Notebook with not really much of an idea what I was going to do, but I have just bought these tags from Rosie Studios. They were on sale from the warehouse, so I grabbed them and I decided that I wanted to do a page with them. And um, I figured the easiest way to do that would be to grab anything else I had that was tag related. So I've grabbed some metal dies and I found a couple of stamp sets that had um, tag stamps on them. And I also grabbed my 6x6 whimsical pad because I couldn't not. This is the first time that I've used some of the stuff that came from scrapbook.com. So I had to use it and I figured that those colors worked pretty well with these tags. Now you've seen all the fun designs that were in there. I picked out the one that said fun. I loved the yellow and I loved the fun. And then I went away and did myself a quick little sketch so that I have something to um, vaguely work with because at this point I've got a tag and a photo. So um, I'm just going to glue down the tag. Um, you'll see that a lot. Uh, just really this page becomes a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle piece. I am going to just create a whole bunch of tags and try to work out how best to put them down. So I'm going to create a tag shape out of my photo. It's just, um, I think it's a 4x4 four four photo. It was slight, maybe slightly smaller. No, actually it was the full width of the photo. So it's got to be a 4x4 four four inch photo and I'm just tracing on the back of the photo. I'm tracing the angle that um, one of these metal dies has the corners cut off. I figured that was the easiest way to get both sides of them um, exactly the same and so that they matched the same angle as some of the rest of the tags that are going to be on the page. Otherwise I guess my um, issue would be that I would cut it off like on too steep of an angle and it would look odd. So that worked out really nicely. And I had these little hole reinforcers that I've barely ever used, but they turned out to be perfect for this page. I stuck one down roughly in the center of the photo, and then I did use a little hole punch to punch it out. So it actually looks relatively like a tag. So I'm really pleased with that. And now I can get on with creating the rest of my um, puzzle piece of tags. Now I've tried to cut out as much of the boring stuff as I can for you because a lot of this page was this sort of thing. Trial and error, die cutting out tags, um, it was a little bit boring to watch. So I've tried my best, sorry if it is a little on the dull side. I'm going to do my journaling on just some regular white cardstock. So I traced out the edge of the metal die. Um, and, and where the hole would be so that I could use my typewriter to type in my journaling and it gives me an easy way to line my die back up so that nothing gets cut off and then I can go ahead and just run that through. I'm running everything through my cuddle bug today. It is off to the side. You can't see that. I don't have room on my desk to show you um, and that worked really nicely so I think that's a really easy way because I was tracing the outside of the die. There are no pencil marks to erase or anything like that super easy way to create journaling on a die cut shape. Now I'm just flicking through my um, whimsical pad and I love this cloud paper. It's one of my favorites um, and the colors were not perfect for the page. It did have a few pops of those yellows in there um, and a little bit of green so I just tried to place my die on that pattern paper and you'll notice I die cut it, the paper upside down because the tag's going to sit upside down and I want those clouds to be up the right way. Um, and it does add a few other colors to my page but I still really love it um, and those little pops I think help the page not be too like too color themed I guess. I didn't want to go like too heavy on the yellow and green. I mean as you know green's not my favorite color but you know when you're taking a photo of your dog at a dog park um, there's not much choice for it to be but a lot of green so I had to try and work with it and I love the way that the cloud paper brings in a little bit of pink and it's got some darker grays and a little bit of blue. It just helps to balance those colors out a little bit. Now I'm grabbing some of my um, stamps, stamps, tag stamps is what I'm trying to say. These ones are pretty old. I think they're both from Studio Calico. Um, and my book is super fat, so it was gonna be really hard to stamp. So I had to try and flip it over and hold the right side down so that I could stamp flat on the left hand side. And I was shocked that I managed to get a not too bad impression there. Now I'm not sticking this um, journaling tag down just yet because I really want to 
do something with it. I'm not quite sure what yet, but I'm not super pleased with the way that the white just sits on the white. It's um, It doesn't stand out very much, so I want to try and do something to that. I'm just not quite sure what yet, so I'm not sticking it down. Um, I was thinking about redoing it, and there's a like an ombre yellow paper in the whimsical pad and I thought maybe I would redo it onto that but again it's you know time saving is that what you call it or would you call it laziness I didn't want to do it twice so I figured I would try and work with what I had um, and find a solution for that the good thing about having these stamps and dies is it was reasonably easy to lay things out and see how they would look in which position before I actually went ahead and cut the pieces out um, which is handy having all of those dies and again I think those metal dies were from Studio Calico they are quite old so um, I'm sure there's lots of different options for um, tag dies around I grabbed out this green floral, darker green floral, and I like the way that it adds a little bit of depth to the page. There are some points in that photo that are quite dark, so um, that adds a nice balance to that. But once I put those tags down, that was when I realized I wanted a bit more yellow on this page. So I went and grabbed a yellow ink and I just rubbed, you can see me there, rubbing the edge of that tag over the yellow ink pad, which gives it a really nice yellow outline and brings a bit more of that color into the page and helps that tag stand out on the white background. So it was super pleased with that solution. I added another one of those whole reinforcing stickers again in the yellow and um, then stuck it down because I was happy enough with this. Now this stamp is super old and I didn't put it on its backing sheet properly because it's hollow on the inside it's got these really thin lines and it has actually bent itself out of shape so it was really hard to get it to sit straight on the block which becomes an issue after I stamp this down um, and I decide to fill in one of the little hole filler pieces that also comes with the stamp set. It makes it because those lines aren't straight when I first stamped it it makes it really hard to fill in so I'm um, sorry but you going to have to see my head here. I really needed to be right over the top of it to make sure I was getting it in the right place and even then I didn't really particularly manage it very well but I um, I just am going with it. I like the yellow. It's light enough that you can't see the obvious mist stamping. Now I turned the camera off for a second because I had to go hunting for this tiny little die which um, does some reinforcing. Now don't worry, the um, camera does focus itself again eventually. I just cut out a couple of those little hole reinforcements for these tags because the holes on these tags, the um, die hole that was cut is quite small and those hole reinforcing stickers were far too large for it. So even these little die cut pieces aren't quite the right size but um, they're better than those stickers were. So I just cut them out of some scrap yellow paper to again add a little bit more um, yellow onto the page. Now I decide to add this wonky stamp one more time in yellow again on the right hand side so basically anything I'm doing on the left I'm trying to do on the right as well. Uh, managed to stamp that much easier this time um, so now I'm just trying to work out I've got a few like three sort of little gappy holes to fill up and just wondering what to do with those and I do end up leaving some holes so I don't entirely fill the whole page um, which I'm totally okay with I think it's nice to have that little bit of white space because I had that one cloud tag up the top there I decided I would do another one um, and you'll see here I die cut it the wrong way around I wanted the clouds to be up the right way um, and they're not because I wasn't really paying attention um, so this, this just didn't really work I try to make it work I try to fit it in but in the end I dive back into my whimsical pad and grab out this rainbow paper. Now I'm shocked by this because this is one of the papers that I love the most from this line. Um, and in the 6x6 pad it's even better than the 12x12 papers because it's got gold, um, well copper, copper foiling between each stripe. So um, this was one of the ones that I was seriously tempted to hoard but instead you'll see I've chopped straight into the middle of it. So feeling proud of myself for that. But what I wanted to do was just chop out the um, the yellow and green pieces in there. 
So you can see I'm still trying to force myself to use that cloud tag. I don't end up using it because it doesn't work. It's upside down. It doesn't look good. But I'm going to create a couple more of these teeny tiny little tag dies out of that same yellow and green stripe. It was slightly harder once I got to the small die to be able to fit in all the colors that I wanted without going all yellow or all green. Um, and I wish that I had done a couple of them with that darker green. The first stripe that I had cut there has that darker foresty green at the bottom of it which I think ties those floral pieces together really nicely so I wish I had done that now that I'm looking at it again but say la vie. I think one of the frustrating things about creating these process videos is you see yourself making these pages and I think I wish I'd done that or please stop trying to do that and that's how we feel about this cloud tags please stop trying to make that work it just doesn't move on um, and eventually I do so here we go I'm gonna cut out one more of these tiny tags and um, again I'm trying to decide which end of the stripe to put it in I wish I'd put it on the darker green but it doesn't happen but that's the last little tag that I'm gonna put down on my page so I've, you can see I've got a couple of holes there but I'm okay with that but I did wonder about the cloud paper not sticking out very much and because I've got that black stamp on there I'm just going to outline the tag with a black gel pen and then the same with my journaling tag um, it doesn't look out of place because of the black stamping and it makes it all stand out so much more in the end this was a fun page to put together I really enjoyed just repeating that one shape so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of it and whether you would ever give this a try if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!